Hey, yo, yo. I'm back, so I will be fully with you in a second. Just texting back a friend. So, okay, that's that. I guess there's no one tuned in so far, so. No harm done. I'm just doing something else. <sighs> okay, let's resume. We are still at the ravine. Eat something we want before we go to sleep. Oh yeah, let's start a fire. First of them, very good. Thirty eight minutes and one minute, okay. Dying from starvation. You're not dying from starvation, maybe from exaggeration. That would be more like it. So I guess now it is time for us to go to sleep, see how much we can get out of it. I should have drank more. 
Oh yeah. That's not too bad actually. Sounds almost up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot to put up, lay out these pals before we left. That's always a bummer when that happens. Just a little bit time crafting or we go out. Now we workbench though. Three rabbits. Okay, so I'm not so convinced I should go back. So what else is there to do?
There's almost no wind sure right now. Sun's coming up in the east, except for a step. Is that my arrow? It is. It is a broken arrow. Oh no. Alright, uh, that was not very romantic to shoot the deer like that, but who cares? Is it? Well, I just wasted all my bullets. I guess then it's not cheating, is it? Say so. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. So the first arrow I shot went into a tree and it plain broke. And the second one should be somewhere around about here. 
Just barely missed the damn deer. Oh yeah, and then that's the one that I wasted last. At least it still is. So welcome back, Jimmy. Any idea how long it takes these cattail roots to regrow? My guess is I'm never going to see that arrow again. Going to be remembered as the one that got away. Okay, so can you still collect it if it's in it went into the rock wall? to cook all the meat. I guess the arrow's just broken, is it? Yeah. Okay, I actually saw someone who who shot a bear. Didn't kill it, but he shot it. Uh, he did. Um, and then in the blizzard, after the... Oh, no, actually, he killed the bear. And he couldn't harvest it right away because there was a blizzard raging. And uh, in that blizzard, the bear carcass disappeared. He thought he lost the arrows too. And then a couple of in game, in game days later, he got back to the same spot on the map, and there were just three arrows hanging in mid air. No sign of the bear. Okay, so I'm almost out of matches. Come on, little fire.
them down to one arrow. Cooking time, barbecue time. What else could I do while this is going on? Well, there's the reason why I'm playing on, on Voyager, so I can have this little cheat, just use the gun when I run out of arrows. Because I didn't have any food left, so I had to bring something home today that's bigger than just two rabbits. Well, actually, I read something on my break at work today, and on the way down the rope to Bleak Inlet, where I couldn't go yesterday because obviously I didn't have a rope, that's the spawn point for the, uh, what is it, emergency pistol, no, distress pistol, isn't it? Still a shame that I don't have a gun, or uh, don't have a rope. Is there? I don't know. I don't think that I that I found one. So even if you're on a map where there's predators around, you can still put the venison on the ground outside, right? They the wolves won't eat it. Ah, cooking skill. <sighs> there, there definitely wasn't one in the camp office. I'm not so sure about the dam. I think there wasn't one. I think I would remember. And... Oh yeah, yeah, of course, that's if you use it as a decoy, um, but um, I only went to the forest overlook, not to the to the other outlook where you can go using a rope because the way around just didn't seem worth it because I don't think there's a proper cache up there.
drop any of this gear. No, not right now you can't. Forty-one minutes remaining. That's enough that can close it right at the threshold of the of the cave, right? I don't have to carry it further outside. So it won't decay faster. What? Is that so? Because I think I read in the wiki that wolves will always bark once when they start stalking you. Oh, red completely. Now I can use it. Make a fire, congrats. So now at this stage, I think I can go out and pick up some more wood, maybe some sticks. Alright, but then it will just turn to you, it will not follow you, will it? So let's investigate if we can retrieve that arrow. I don't know if I aim so high as to hit the rock. Actually, don't think it could have blown this far. Let's reenact. Is that my arrow? No, that's just a stick. I was coming, aiming from down here somewhere. Now it kind of flown so far. Oh, 
out of fit the ground much earlier. But then again, I should be able to retrieve it, shouldn't I? Oh, that bot is on the spamming spree. Sorry, I really have to tune that. If you could see anything, you'll be glad I bring back some more of that pasty cattail. Yes, I did. I did it all in one piece as long as it was fresh. One deer hide, two guts, and 8.8 .8 kilos of meat. Until it gets dark, I think I will just I think well yeah, if you only f eat for sleeping it probably is. Hey yo, Rebby Rabbit, I'm coming for you. There's the first rabbit. Oh, nice first hit of the day. Look at that! Whoa! Two out of two. I guess that's all the rabbits gone, isn't it? That's what I call a successful day. But still, I mean... I do have this uh, fire striker, and I haven't used that, but on Voyager or on, on Interloper, Stalker, I definitely would have to move on, because I only do have one or two matches left.
yeah. Probably, but then why is it called the Hospital of the Long Dark? How could you recover in the ravine? Or would you just go here to hunt and then crawl back to the dam? Well, not so early, that might be true. So then on Loper, you would just rush through the ravine to get somewhere else, it would linger. Is that what you're saying? Just right now, I'm just so happy to be here. I could eat a horse. That's sand locks. I love horses. So inside it's all dark already. Well, yeah, I think so because you wouldn't need to go very far to get some burnable stuff. Okay, so I'll leave that rabbit out here. So So many guts, kind of disgusting. Ah, oh, well, yeah, that's true. There does seem to be a lot of birch bark around here. So, 11 hours of sleep, what do you say to that? How much sleep did you get last night? answer. <laughs> oh, 
rather diplomatic. Come on, little fire. Oh, 7.30. That's not bad. I could only sleep until like 6, 6 6.30. Okay. I don't recall... I was doing that second rabbit flesh. So if you harvest everything else, will it just be the fresh meat in... Then you can just just use it without harvesting it. Is that it? <laughs> well, yeah, it would seem so, but it wouldn't make any sense. But still, I, I can't recall obviously everything on the last rabbit. Well, I only did hide and gut before sleeping because I wanted to lay it out to dry overnight. Oh, well, let's see, what do I have here? Do I have the deer skin boots? Deer skin pants, 3D cured deer hats, not there yet. I don't know, but a good cured wolf pelt now. Don't have enough wolf pelts. Just two here. That's it. Yeah, definitely need more wolf pelt. I do have one deer hide ready. And we do have quite a lot of rabbit pelt. What can we do? Can be done with that. Of course, we could go for the mitts or the hat. Three cured deer hats. That's what we need. One is here. One is almost done. For any particular reason, is there a higher bonus for them in comparison to wool mittens? 
or is it just because you can only wear one pair? You want to make it count. Definitely need to do the deal with pants. I know that I would wear them here, right? Ah, oh, ours, I see, I see. What about now? Oh, so they still do have that rabbit carcass. Ah, there's meat. So I laid out one piece of meat last night. I forgot the second one. Oh, that's a riddle to your solution. Well, let go the let the fire go out, and I'm gonna reset it right away. Oh, and I do have another 24 matches. Yeah, sure. Perfect. So how many days does a deer hunt again? I think it's just three days, is it? One minute, one minute, two, 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 yes! Now that is spot on. That is spot on. So, how much water are we carrying? So if I'm using me to decoy, will it always drop the smallest piece first? Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know you could use Gaps as decoy. I really think I'm run, running out of useful stuff to do. Do I have a maple sapling somewhere? We have three in Trapper's cabin. As well as rabbits and deer. I think I could still make it to the dam. No problem. Much nicer place to sleep. Still, all of the gods are not ripe yet. There's a lot of birch. So what do I need to make a birch tea? Ah, oh, could you make a tea here, right? No. Of it, not if it's not burning. But I could, right? Just gonna collect some more wood before it goes dark. Okay, so I have to melt out oh, so I can either use the water I'm carrying with me, or I can just boil something in the pot first and then put arch in. Okay. Uh. 
of the deer they are so mad <laughs> Didn't hit that. No, you can't. Can't even shoot an arrow into a deer without it going missing. Both a deer and the arrow. Oh, no, there's the arrow. go again where to go <laughs> things it's not the long dark the long arrow hunt. Could it just have turned into some random sticks when it broke apart when it didn't hit anything? Oh yeah, that's right. I left the rifle in the cave. Please tell me if you see the arrow. And there's no blood, so obviously I didn't hit. Can't have gone missing. Also, it can't have flown so far. Let's come down somewhere right here. Cannot hide it so well. Oh, yeah, it can. It actually can. Yes, it can. <sighs> so I think I'm gonna give it one last shot. But 
the deer they are so very smart. Did you the time or I was running in circles looking for the arrow to get away. There there is one. Some stats up there would be nice, telling you how much you've missed it. Ah, at least this time, don't have trouble recovering the arrow. Obviously didn't hit that again. This must be fun to watch the guy fail and fail time after time. Same task. Guess it's part of the game. <laughs> I don't recall the proper angle that I shot. <laughs> well, yeah, that's so that's comforting, but I guess that is kind of the truth of it. But what I am learning is that again I'm missing my arrow. My last arrow. I deduct should have come down somewhere where I'm looking. I was shooting from over here, wasn't I? Yes, aiming right there. Well, that means if it came short, it should have been there. If it went through, it should be somewhere around here.
Ah, there it is. We're at the meat move. And I just hear it. <laughs> oh yeah, but uh, then again, those speedrunners oh. are hardcore pros. They can live on this, and I'm, well, I would be thankful for one or two more followers that would just add to the motivation. Plus, I'm not always going to be streaming the long dark, I'm actually preparing to finally start the witcher but of course you could uh, watch me there learning the the game from scratch too because until last november i didn't have the proper computing machine to go to it now i do but i don't have the proper computing machine to stream it in 4K or I don't have the proper connection. That would be the correct way to say it. Yeah, The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Just downloaded and installed a bunch of mods this week to make it look better than when it came out. I think the farthest I'm going to go in this run is day 50. And then I, I might go for a new game, or I might just start The Witcher and then do alternating streams. We got it. Oh, it's kind of hard following the blood trail. Oh yeah, not every game can be for everyone. But there it is, bleeding out. How long will it take? I mean, that shot should be a pretty good shot, and there it goes down, all right. Out 
Well, it actually is, yeah, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> I would prefer just being Chris Cobain, but despite the name not being taken, apparently I can't use it. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Well, it did, but I didn't play it when it came out because at that age, adventure games or role playing games they were just too advanced for me. Didn't get the proper hang of it, so I think I actually played it when I was already studying. And I just recently recapped it um, listening to a podcast. Oh, really? Kind of sad. Well... Ah, oh, there's an Aurora, so now I'm really glad there are no wild animals here. Now that I can't even find the entrance to our cave. Oh, have you tried uh, Divinity Original Sin? Well, that's uh, an RPG that I really enjoyed. Maybe the story is. A little over complex, I would say. Okay, and the realism thing, did, uh, did it fulfill your expectations? Well, but not as... Good as go a gothic, obviously. Uh, two deers in one day, wasn't that? Wasn't that it? So do you play anything else besides RPGs and the long dark? Occasional FPS maybe. I could eat a horse. Okay, real time or Ground based.
<laughs> well, I do have a fair amount of Civ Rs on my account as well, especially Civ 4 and Civ 5. And Civ 2 for that, but didn't try out Civ 6 because all my friends that did that it was awful, and I had previously said that I only was gonna get it once all the add ons were out. So, um, I tried some Paradox stuff, especially uh, Dolores, but as intriguing as I find the early game as boring it gets in mid game might even get into into a standoff at sometimes but actually never finished a single game of stellaris I wanted to try out um, Europa Universalis, but I didn't get a hang of it. I watched a tutorial, watched some Let's Plays, and I found it really interesting. But every time I, I tried myself, it's just way too complex, and I... Well, it's just not for me, I guess. Even though I really wish it would be. Well, but I also heard that uh, the AI was just way too bad. I'll admit to some concepts being very intriguing, but the AI maneuvering around you quite well was always what kept me going with Civ 2 and 4 and 5. Obviously, before you can ah, oh, I don't have a badge. Okay. So I have to say, before you can watch me try Loper, you definitely will have to watch me try Voyager. At another starting point, maybe. Oh yeah, Stack of Doom, that's good, that is gone. Oh, I ate it. I didn't want to eat it. But I did.
what do you think of if you like paradox what do you think of um city skylines because i also try to like that one and i started a couple of games but at some point it's just too complex and i just it just takes the fun out of the game for me I have to work out some details for hours it really is a proper simulation but then again i also do want to have some fun and see the city just grow Yeah, so maybe same as me. Even so, I got some of the DLCs when I tried it again because I thought it would increase the fun, but it didn't. And same was with um, the Coaster Tycoon, the Paradox Get Out. I really enjoyed the old um, Roller Coaster Tycoon series. But then with with the coaster game from Paradox, I think I tried it for like ten hours and then never touched it again. And I think it's partly because Paradox usually they they Deploy the same engine over and over. So a lot of the mechanics they just stay the same. So if you don't enjoy one game, you're quite prone to not enjoy another game. The statistics is right. There are at least some lurkers every once in a while. <laughs> no, no, no. That isn't Sudakun from Paradox 2. Because I think it's some of the stuff that I didn't like about the coaster um, thingy. It's the same with Sutikun. You can just get mad for hours just designing and perfecting your entrance gate to the zoo. But the, the simulation mechanics and the management mechanics, they just don't live up to my expectations. And for me at least, they're a big part of the fun of the game. CK just can't place it right now. Crusader Kings, all right. So are you streaming every once in a while when you're doing your your custom defensive or passive wildlife games? <laughs> uh. 
All right, never mind. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Ah, so those wolf paths, they are almost ready. I am here. We are very, very smelly because of all the meat we are carrying. Well, yeah, I mean, at least when you're in the ravine, you do have some time to talk. And if you're doing stuff like Sif, you definitely would have... Oh, wow, but never mind. So I think we'll be packing up my stuff. I will leave the bow here. Sapling. Just I have one arrowhead. Huh. That's not a lot. What do we have here? Seven guts. Do have one deer hide at the camp office, one at the trapper's cabin. It's not enough. And this pack is getting kind of heavy.
think it's seven times right. There is times three. Oh, now. We are ready to move on. I think I do have to ignite the torch before we leave the ravine, right? Yeah, so now I'm going back to the dam to do some, to store the hides there. And then I'm gonna go to Trapper's Cabin, recover the maple, maybe craft a second bow. Some rabbit skins, and then we're gonna do some crafting at the dam. Maybe shoot another wolf while we're at it, or explore the dam and surroundings. shitty map. Ah. Oh yeah, to Mystery Lake. That's where I want to go. So if I light the torch before I leave the ravine, will it still be burning when I get to the other side. Let's find out. Oh. I'm stinking as hell. Of course, there might be a wolf around these parts. Let's just go inside and make sure um, there's a wolf right there. Well, let's make sure what I wrote down is stacked here is correct. Ah, cloth. I do need cloth. Oh. 
I'm starving. Pure leather, pry bar. Look at all this shit. Okay, just making sure I really did get everything, but I didn't. Oh, that's right. That's just a flare spoon gunpowder. Lots of lantern oil. Tools, cherry can. Everything you need or don't. So then let's just lay this out here. Look, two fresh wolf pals. Three deer hunts. Sometimes I just don't see how this works. Oh, come on. Okay, and now for the relic pals. looks in comparison. So just four guts, that's all I took with me. Well, okay, wait, we, we do have more guts, so no harm in that. So that should cure in no time. Ah, I'm just wondering if it's worth going all the way to the other side. Which 
try to make it to camp office. Yes, it is. Uh, I don't know. You're probably right. Yeah, that's a risk. Exactly. Wasting an ammo on a wolf. As you may have seen, there's some more ammo we just went, came from. Why are we still carrying too much? I need to leave some stuff here. Yeah, no, I, I, actually, I only need two more Anything right now. coats, uh, hides. So I can also leave the birch sapling here. It's the wolfie. So there is no wolf here around here.
Why was it attacking me so directly? Was it so easy to spot me? Well, yeah, but I didn't aim at it at first. No, I'm not. Oh, now I am, but that's just because I'm carrying the stuff that I just got from the wolf. My extra double check before I left. And I wasn't smelly. So how many real life minutes will it take us to to get Okay, I'm gonna do no experiments. And just follow the trail. Last time were you already watching then when I tried to go around wolf here going the other way? That's when the fog drove me right into the wolf. Well, 
While I was coming from camp office, I was trying to go like over those hills. Then I got lost in the in the blizzard. Now, should I go back or should I continue in this condition? Have you? drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Well, yeah, I was unsure if I was already at camp office. Okay, so that cable there, that was a really good tip. I just as well have saved my life. But on the other hand, I would have never gone out uh, in this condition if it wasn't for you. So, I guess it's time to drink. Time to drink. 
concrete. And then it's time to sleep. And that it's not just... And I mean for real. Not just in game. Because I'm... I have to get up tomorrow and uh, go on a jog before work. Oh, 27 days. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good place to quit. So tomorrow night we're at a concert, so I won't be able to continue this. Um, well, it's probably going to be Sunday until we can continue to Trapper's Cabin and then go back to the dam. Well, yeah, but it's just if you can't really tell how far you can make it in a blizzard. And um, I wasn't... I think I might have gone straight if you hadn't told me that uh, I could just follow the cable, even though it makes perfect sense. Um, I didn't know the cabin was so far from, from the rail tracks. I thought I could just go 5 or 10 meters to the left and then I uh, should have been able to spot it. Um, but also I was afraid I would just run head to head with the wolf with no time to aim or whatsoever. So the first wolf got us pretty easy, but also... I could hardly hear it. So I think in a blizzard, for future reference, I might turn up the volume of wildlife just a little. Well, yeah, possibly, but only if you know where you're going and you don't run into hostile wildlife on the way there. I mean, the, the way that, that we just took following the, the railroad tracks, it is pretty safe, but still. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a more experienced gamer speaking there, so. I was kind of glad you pushed me through that. I, we could recover the night and then now just go on to the trapper's cabin. Ah, okay, I didn't know that. No new wildlife spawns, but that doesn't mean that only the wildlife that are previously spotted is there. If there were wolves further out, on the rail tracks, I could have run into them, right? And it's actually kind of unique that there was only one wolf there, because in between um, the derailment and that uh, train loading spot, there were two wolves the entire time I was there on Mystery Lake before we moved to the ravine. But still. Never mind. I guess it was pretty successful session with the first deer kill, first deer kill uh, with a rifle uh, and with with a bow. Oh, I see. I see. So, for example, do you think if I would have pushed past um, the camp office onto the lake? Could there have been wolves on the lake? Because usually there are always like two or three. Or do you think that the lake, it would just have been deserted?
Hmm. And after the blizzard goes away, how long will it take for wildlife to respawn? Will it respawn instantly, or do you have like a buffer? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, on the way to Trapples, there's usually just one spot where there can be a wolf. So I guess we will have no trouble getting there. And we're just picking stuff up and then we go right back to the dam. So, as Jürgen Becker said, machen Sie den Knoten in Ihre Fernbedienung. I think we will continue on Sunday night over and out. <laughs>